Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Now Too. And on today's video, we're taking a look at a product from a new company, which I've not come across before. This is MCO Plus, and this is their very cost-effective wireless mic kit. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the uh, MCO Plus. This is the UHF WMU48 wireless lavalier mic kit with a few tricks up his sleeve. A little bit different this one. It's a very cost effective pack at the moment on Amazon.co.uk. You can pick these up for around about £80, which I think is phenomenal value for money for a wireless lav kit. Although that does depend if it's actually any good. And of course, in this video, we'll be doing a full unboxing, go through all the specifications, the features, the accessories, and doing some practical tests towards the end so you can actually evaluate it for yourself and see if it's right for your particular needs. So let's start off with the unboxing first of all, looking at the packaging. So as you see on the front, it's got the uh, microphones there, which you can see, which are slightly unusual. Normally microphone packs generally tend to be uh, slightly boring affairs, normally in a black or gray or something like that. Whereas these, nice and bright, nice white big units, and you've got the MCO Plus logo plaster across it, which is always good to see. And we've got some red accent colors. Yeah, a little bit cheerful. I kind of like that. It is a UHF dual channel setup, obviously wireless, and it's got a 50 meter range, which is line of sight. If there's things in the way, obviously that is gonna interfere with it. And hopefully during the recording of this video, due to the studio setup, we've got loads and loads of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, Internet of Things devices, all that kind of stuff. So we'll be really listening in to see if there's any interference from any of those devices. Although UHF is really designed to eliminate that if possible. Also, these come with built-in batteries as well, so you don't have to worry about going out and buying batteries, which for some people may be a plus, for some people may be a negative. For me personally, um, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't mind having to charge up my mic packs every now and then, but if you're using this in a more professional environment, possibly the option of actually inserting batteries might be beneficial for those emergency uh, battery change-outs. Between the units, you're looking around about six hours of use. So uh, four hours, I believe it is for the transmitter and about six hours for the receiver or vice versa, one of the two. But obviously you can't use one without the other. So probably easier just say four hours, but nice and quick to recharge. These recharge from completely flat in less than an hour on a USB type C charger and do support fast charging also. So yeah, that's a pretty good start. If you've got any comments or questions and you can't put them in the comment section below or you wanna reach out to MCA Plus themselves, uh, on the screen now you'll see their Facebook, their Twitter and also their YouTube channel ID so you can go and hit them up. And that is pretty much it for the packaging. So let's see what we actually get inside. So first of all, we're greeted with a, uh, a semi-hard case, which is always nice to see. And there is a instruction guide, which is uh, even better. So this is, looks to be in color. So it gives you the oversight and tells you what all the buttons do, etc., etc. But we'll go through most of that now. It tells you how to set it up for the receiver, transmitter, and all the uh, individual characteristics, etc. So yeah, that's all pretty good. Yeah, it works for me. This is what we're more interested in. So this is the carry pouch, and you've got a little strap there so you can hold it. And also it's got a zipper around it. So let's see what we actually get inside. Actually, looks pretty decent. You've got a nice solid foam in there. So you've got the receiver there and also you've got the transmitter there. Also as well, there is a cold shoe adapter which uh, can be used. And we've got a whole bunch of cables here. So let's see what we actually get as far as cables are concerned. So this first one here is designed for the TRRS devices. So this goes into your receiver and this will go into like a TRS device, so mobile phone, uh, Androids, that kind of thing, possibly even iPads, tablets, those sorts of devices. If you're planning on using this with a regular kind of DLSR or mirrorless type camera or camcorder, that sort of thing, then you can use this one. So this is your normal TRS. So that is the uh, three pronged version. Basically fits into a 3.5 mil jack. So yeah, dead handy. So you can use either one of those. Also included is a single USB type C charging cable. So that's type C to type A. Personally, I would have liked to have seen two of these. Obviously, there are two packs in here, so ideally it would be great if you could charge them both at the same time, but it's not the end of the world. You can easily pick up another USB Type-C cable, and generally you'll probably find that one device is slightly flatter than the other, but yeah, not the end of the world, but would have been nice to have seen two of these. Last up, we've got the microphone itself. So the microphone has got a little uh, pop shield on the top there, which is always handy to have. You've got the uh, clip on there to attach it to your clothing or a jacket, etc. Also, there is a gold-plated connector with a screw connection, so it's not gonna come off accidentally. The length of the cable on this to go between the microphone and actually your receiver is around about two meters, so uh, yeah, pretty decent length there. 
quite easy to route that down through a shirt and into like a side pocket or wherever you plan on actually putting the transmitter. So this is the actual transmitter itself and it's a, a pretty cute little unit. You've got a solid fixed antenna and on the top there is a single input for a microphone. So again, what we need to do is to plug that in and twist it on and that means it's not going to come back out. So if the talent or whoever's using it, it's kind of pulls up the cord, it shouldn't pull out, which is excellent. On the side there is a power button, so press and hold that to turn the device on and you can actually briefly press it as well to put it into mute mode. On the front you've got three buttons, well technically two, but this is a rocker, so you press this button here to go through the different modes which you can cycle through. So if I turn this on, press and hold, you get the MCO Plus logo come up and then you get your characteristics. So at the moment it's got two on there, it's also got M on there, it's got the microphone and also the volume level, battery level and also the channel is on. So you can choose between two different groups or channels. So if you press and hold the button on the front and wait until the display flashes, at the moment it's got two flashing. So I press the button there, then that's gonna change it to one, which is basically group one or group two. That is reflected on the receiver. It shows you which one you're actually on. So you can actually buy more of these and group them together into various different options. So stereo, mono, etc., etc. If we press the button again, and we'll change that back to group two press the button again and then you've got the M on there. So where it says M, that is the choice between either using it as a mic or a line. So if you press the button, so the M starts flashing, then we can press this one of the side buttons, and then it will change to L. I'll try and get you some close up of this so you can see it a little bit better. So that is the difference between mic and line, so that's uh, pretty easy to do. Next one, if you press it, you've got the actual volume level. So this will go up to a total of level eight, so we'll set this to around about six. I think that's probably gonna be the best to uh, not get any interference or get any overly loud amplification from the actual device itself. If I press the button again, then you can change the channels, etc. cetera. Yeah, pretty standard. Press the button again and it goes back to normal. Again, you can keep an eye on your actual battery levels and all that kind of stuff on there as well. Yeah, pretty handy, pretty lightweight as well. It's all plastic construction. And on the back there is actually a belt clip as well, so you can quite easily attach that to your belt or a pocket or basically clamp it onto anything, which is uh, yeah pretty good. Again, very lightweight. On the bottom there is the USB Type-C charging jack, and there's also an LED on there. Blue LED shows when it's charging, and when the LED goes off, it means it's fully charged. Pretty awesome. Briefly pressing the side button, as I said before, just enables or disables the microphone. So if uh, the talent wants to go to the toilet or have a private conversation or the director is talking to you, etc., then you can briefly press that and then that will stop the audio going through to the camera. So this is the receiver. So the receiver itself, you've also got the, uh, the belt clip on there as well, but you can use the cold shoe mount. So that simply just slots on the end and then you can tighten all that up. It's actually quite a clever little uh, design. So that can slide onto there, tighten up onto your camera and you can have it mounted or leave it off entirely up to you. On the top, you've got the options for headphones. So you can actually monitor the sound coming through from the talent. You've also got the uh, output, which obviously then goes into the camera. So if you're using one of these, plug that into the output, plug the other end into your camera and you're off to the races. On the bottom, exactly the same deal again. So USB type C to charge and also an LED to tell you the charge status, etc. This one is a little bit different. So on the side here, we've got the stereo or mono button. So this is gonna be coming into effect depending on obviously what sort of microphone you're using or how you're pairing these with other devices. Ideally, you wanna set this to mono because a lav mic is a mono device. If you're plugging in a stereo mic, then obviously change it to stereo. Or if you want to use the two together, so G1 and G2 or group one and group two, you can use them together. If you put them into mono mode, then they'll be split across left and right channels. If you put it into stereo mode while using both of those groups, then both channels will be on both left and right. So a little bit easier to do if you're, say, for instance, doing an interview and you maybe want to cut something from one person to another, then stick it to mono mode. If you just want all the signals together, leave it in stereo. There is a power button on the side, so press and hold that and that will turn the device on. Also, it tells you your kind of battery level. So the first one is your power level, which is currently blue. When the light starts flashing red, that means you're running out of battery, so get charged quickly. At the moment, you can see you've got G1 and G2, which are there and there. So that is currently flashing because it's not actually on. So put the, uh, the unit on, and then when that's actually in use, that light will stay steady. So yeah, pretty good. Again, all plastic construction feels pretty lightweight. Doesn't feel like there's a great deal to it, but essentially, as long as they work well, then who cares? So speaking of which, let's try them out now. 
Okay, so this is the sound of the MCO Plus, the wireless lav kit. Hopefully it sounds nice and uh, clear and crisp. I have actually recorded this because I did it just now and the mic levels were just way, way too high. Put it into Adobe Premiere to see what it was like. And yeah, it was absolutely uh, yeah horrendous. It's way, way too loud. So currently we've got the microphone set to level two out of eight. And the Lumix camera, which has actually got quite a hot preamp in it anyway, uh, that is down to minus 6 dB. And essentially, I could probably take it down a little bit more than that. I have turned off deliberately the mic limiter as well, just in case, because I don't want it to be uh, popping. But I want you to get a, a good representation of what the actual levels are like. I just asked Kath if uh, the levels were peaking, and apparently we're staying out of the red, so that is uh, a good sign. Again, hopefully the microphone sounds crisp and clear, because essentially that is what you want out of a device. So what you can do with the, uh, the unit, obviously you can change the settings, etc. This can be clipped onto the back of you, uh, onto a pocket, whatever. It is actually quite uh, lightweight plastic. So even if you drop it, it should kind of absorb pretty much most of those bangs and knocks. Quite a lot of these more expensive devices tend to be kind of metal or whatever, or a slightly more brittle plastic. But I think for this actually, if you're doing a little bit of rough and tumble out and about, then I think these are actually going to be pretty decent. And again, they are pretty cost effective at around about £80 here in the UK for a set, which pretty much undercuts most of the other brands by a considerable margin, especially on the UHF. So anyway, I'm going to take a walk now around the house, just see what it's like, see if the levels stay, see if we have any dropouts, that kind of thing, see what the range is like. I would go outside, but unfortunately, the weather outside at the moment is uh, pretty awful, so we're definitely not doing that. So I'm going to go for a quick walk, and this is going to be going into our kitchen. Hello, cats. So, yeah, we're going into the kitchen, and this is in the kitchen area. You'll probably hear a little bit more reverb because this is obviously a kitchen, not a studio area. I'm walking down through, down the corridor, down towards the front door, have a look outside, see if the Amazon man here is yet. No, no Amazon man that we can see and into another room. So this is our living room. Uh, picking up a piece of paper, scrunching up, see if you can hear that. And walking across into the corner of the room, a little bit of reverb in there, see what it comes out like. But yeah, overall, this is uh, actually very lightweight. You don't even really notice you've got it. That is the beauty of a lightweight mic pack. Kath's got a thumbs up as I walk back into the room. So that means that hopefully the levels have remained good. And hopefully no dropouts, but we won't find that out until we actually get into uh, editing this footage, see what it's like. So yeah, overall, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It's, uh, it's actually nice to have something which is a little bit more modern and a little bit more funky than the mic packs that we're used to seeing. Also as well, if I'll, I'll be quiet now so you can see what the noise floor is like. You'll be able to hear things in the room. There is a cat licking itself, etc., etc. So I'm gonna be silent. Typically on cue, the cat doesn't do a great deal. Yes, such is the world of uh, live entertainment. Well, this is pre-recorded, but anyway, ignore that. So anyway, that is um, some sound test. Hopefully, again, it sounds good. I'm gonna go now and do editing, edit the rest of this video, and I'm gonna come back at the very end and then do a summary and uh, yeah, let you guys know what I thought and see if I think this is gonna be the microphone for you. So we'll be back after I've done some editing. Okay, so I'm uh, finished doing the editing, and actually, I'm quite impressed. This sounds really, really good. Now, a couple of things that I didn't mention in the uh, the video, which I probably should go over, is the actual transmitter's details, the functions, etc. So, wireless frequency is 550 to 586 MHz on the uh, UHF spectrum. Signal's noise ratio is plus or minus 70 dB, and the stray radiation no idea what that means, minus 60 dB. Transmitter is 30 milliwatts, and the sound delay is less than one millisecond. And actually, sound delay-wise, didn't notice any whatsoever, so that's uh, particularly good. The antenna is a quarter wavelength wire antenna. Reference deviation is plus or minus 50 kilohertz. Again, no idea what that means, but letting you know anyway. Audio distortion is less than 0.5%, so that's uh, yeah, pretty good. The weight is 59 grams and the operating temperature is between 0 degrees and 50 degrees C. Storage temperature between uh, minus 20 and 55 degrees. So yeah, 
all pretty much works out okay. The microphone frequency response is 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz, plus or minus 3 dB. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So yeah, overall, I'm very impressed. For around about 80 pounds here in the UK from amazon.co.uk, also we'll put some affiliated links in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. But yeah, I think there is very, very little for you to be concerned about with this. If you want to have a little bit of wireless freedom in your recordings, be it indoors in the studio or outdoors in the field, yeah, I think this ticks a lot of boxes. So thank you so much for MCA Plus for sending us to review. Uh, hopefully we'll see more of their things in the future. So if you want to know anything more, again, links will be in the video description. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.